In the name of Allah, the most merciful to start. Hello and welcome everyone. We are in the second Timmy the Grateful Plus for second semester. Our subject is English. Our lesson today is 3A. What's wrong? One vocabulary and read presented and prepared by Muhammad Fallah. What we are going to learn today. We are going to present some elements. Then we're gonna answer some questions after reading the passage. After that, I will help you to create expectation and hypothesis about the text. Okay, it's a warm-up question, everybody. Look at the picture, everybody. Number one, my question is, is she okay? Is she okay? Is she happy? Is she happy? Talking about her, the picture. Number two, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? Look at the picture. What's wrong? What's wrong? This is the name of our subject today. It's a vocabulary time now. Match, then listen and check. Okay, we have all these pictures. And we have the sentences. Let's match all these elements, everybody. All these are elements. So we have, I've got Eric. I've got stomachache. I've got a toothache. I've got a headache. I've got a sore throat. I've got a cough. I've got a fever. So, which one is what? Let's listen. Module 3. Teen Life. 3A. What's wrong? 1. Vocabulary. I've got earache. I've got stomachache. I've got toothache. I've got a headache. I've got a sore throat. I've got a cough. I've got a fever. Okay, let's see the answer, everybody. Okay, number three, I've got the earache. Earache, number three, you have a pain in your ear. That's an earache, okay? Number seven, I've got a stomachache. This one, you have a pain in your stomach, everybody. Like this one, you have a pain, it's hurting you. Number one, I've got a toothache. You have a pain in your tooth, a toothache, okay? Number five, you got it. I've got a headache. You have a pain in your head. Number two, you have a sore throat. Your throat is hurting you. Number four, I've got a cough. You are coughing. Okay? Cough. <coughs> That's a cough. Number six, I've got a fever. I've got a fever. Okay? You have a high temperature. I've got a fever. Okay? Fever. Okay. Listen to the dialogue. Why didn't Bill go to the skate park? Why didn't Bill go to the skate park? Let's listen, everybody. Two, read. A, listen to the dialogue, then read it out in groups. Why didn't Bill go to the skate park? Where's Bill? It's almost eight o'clock. The skate park closes in an hour. I think we should call him. You know, Bill, he's never on time. He's not answering his mobile. Maybe he's still at home. Try him there. Hello? Bill, what are you doing at home? Have you forgotten about the skate park again? Sorry, Ali, but I'm ill. 
I've got the flu. I've got a fever and a headache. I've got a bad cough too. That's okay, mate. You should take a painkiller and stay in bed then. What's wrong with him, Ali? Bill's got the flu. Oh dear, he shouldn't go out. And you should drink some warm tea with honey and lemon. Okay, okay, I will. I have to hang up, Ali. Maybe we should cancel the skate park and come and see you. No, it's okay. Don't worry about me. Tom is looking after me. He's the best friend a person can have. Hey, what about us? You are too. Now, read again and find sentences in the dialogue to prove the following. Number one, the skate bar closes at nine o'clock. Number two, Bill is usually late. Number three, Ali and Lee think Bill should stay at home. Number four, Ali thinks that he and Lee should visit Bill. Number five, Bill is not home alone. So let's read it again. We need the proof. Just remember, we need the proof of the sentences that we already read, okay? Ali, where is Bill? It's almost eight o'clock. The skate bar closes in an hour. In an hour. Okay? I think we should call him. You know, Bill, he's never on time. He's never on time. He's not answering his phone or his mobile. Maybe he's still at home. Try him there. Hello? Bill, what are you doing at home? Have you forgotten about the skate park again? Sorry, Ali, but I'm ill. I've got a fever and a headache. I've got a bad cough too. That's okay, mate. You should take a painkiller and stay in bed then. What's wrong with him, Ali? Bill got the flu. Oh dear, he shouldn't go up. And you should drink some warm tea and with honey and lemon. Okay, okay, I will. I've, I have to hang up Ali. Maybe we should cancel the skate park and come and see you. No, it's okay. Don't worry about me. Tom is looking after me. He is the best friend a person can have. Hey, what's about us? You are too. You are now, let's read this question again that we need to prove. Number one, the skate park closes at nine o'clock. Number two, Bill is usually late. Three, Ali and Lee thinks Bill should stay at home. Number four, Ali thinks that he and Lee should visit Bill. Bill, number five, Bill is not home alone. Let's see the answer. Skate park closes at 9 o'clock. It's almost 8 o'clock. The skate park closes in an hour. Okay, in an hour. So 8 plus 1 is 9. Okay. Bill is usually late, so he's never on time. He's never on time. It's a proof. He's never on time, so he's usually late. Ali and Lee thinks think Bill should stay at home. The proof is you should take a painkiller and stay in bed. And stay in bed. Number four, Ali thinks that he and Lee should visit Bill. Maybe we should cancel the skate park and come and visit you. And come and visit you. Okay? Number five, Bill is not home alone. Tom is looking after me. Tom is looking after me. These are the proof. Okay, we are in the end of this lesson today. We just learned how to recognize different elements. Okay, we have a headache, we have a cough, we have a fever, we have a lot of elements. Then we read the text. Then we answer question about a text okay we answer some question about the text that we already read this is the end of our class
Thank you very much. See you next class. Goodbye.